It's December 27th. What is going on with Bitcoin? Since December 20th, we've been traveling in this upward trend here with higher highs and even higher lows. It's also important to take a look at this volume, guys. You see these big green bars here? That's actually really good news. On an uptrend, you really don't want to see low volume. You can see here that when we had this little sell-off a couple days ago, the volume was not as high as the green. Uh, here's some more green here too. So it's actually looking pretty promising. This is going to be your bad news here that futures traders are now mostly retail traders. What does that mean? It means there's likely going to be a long squeeze coming soon. So if you can see this little picture of this whale, this was back in summertime. It was right before the second run-up that we had, and that was a really good sign. Right now we are down here. I think there's a little picture of an ant down here, which means that only retail players are in the market. So I expect a downturn probably to the 45 to 47K range pretty soon. Of course, we still do have this good news that the supply of Bitcoin on exchanges is going down. Hmm, what is this little altcoin that just totally had a breakout that someone was telling you about last week, but everybody's sick of he hearing about? What, what could this possibly be? Well, it's lossless protocol. I know you guys are sick of me talking about this one, but listen, this is the only crypto that I hold long term. I mean, my bags are just set in stone. I don't even look at them anymore. So yeah, um, lossless, I, I was an early investor. I did unfortunately sell out of some of my lossless position too early, but I'm holding long term. So, hmm, why are they having these results? Let's see what could be happening. So, lossless actually just announced that a very big crypto project, a huge project that was recently harmed by hackers, will be relaunching their token with the lossless protocol. Guess who? We don't really know yet. That announcement is coming. At the end of the week, now I did hear a rumor from one of my sources that it is a crypto project with a market cap of over $200 million. So if you guys don't like results and don't like altcoins that do this, then just go ahead and ignore this. Um, like I always say, I was not paid for this video. They didn't ask me to make this video. I just think it's kind of cool. All right. If you guys have not already joined my Telegram alerts channel, go ahead and do that right now. I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to be sending out alerts to the stuff that I'm doing so that you can hear before anyone else. In the news right now, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson lays out roadmap for 2022. And there is some pretty good stuff in here. But if I were you, would I be buying Cardano right now? Not financial advice. My answer is no. Because if you look at if you look at the top layer one blockchains here on coin market cap, you have Ethereum number one at 500 billion market cap approximately, Binance Smart Chain 100 billion market cap. Look at this, you guys, Cardano, $50 billion market cap. It's number three for layer one blockchains. And what do they really do? Nothing right now. Now that wouldn't really bother me so much if there were not so many good deals, comparatively speaking. Avalanche at $28 billion market cap. Algorand, $10 billion. Phantom, which is basically a copy of HBAR. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, it's not really a copy of HBAR, that's a ripoff. It is true. It's not as good as HBAR, but it's still only $6 billion, and they're actually doing quite a bit of stuff here. Um, Harmony One at only $3 billion. What a deal. Why would you be buying Cardano at $50 billion when you could be getting some of these smaller ones like Harmony One? and um, the ones that we just talked about at only a fraction of the market cap. Now, if Cardano was going to be an Ethereum killer, which I'm not convinced that it will be, um, it would only be a 10x to get to Ethereum's market cap. I mean, look at this. We would go from 50 to 500. So even in best case scenario, it's an Ethereum killer. You might get a 10x out of it. But I think you know projects like Avalanche are doing much better things right now. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. This is a brand new YouTube channel. I've never done YouTube before. Um, if you like this, please subscribe, maybe even share this with a friend or something. I'm going to be doing some giveaways on this channel soon. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.